The Arkansas Alcoholic Beverage Control Board gives the green light for soon-to-be open Costco in Little Rock to sell liquor. This comes after ABC director denied the application. Today, the board voted unanimously to overturn the denial. Claire Kreitz spoke with shoppers who seem pretty happy, though not everyone's spirits are lifted. Signs are up and dirt is moving as the first Costco in the state is set to open next month. I'm very, very excited. Shoppers like Catherine Harrington can't wait to roll their cart into this big box store. It would be nice to have some options. Along with milk and eggs, she will now be able to add liquor to her shopping list. See, you know what the options are. Maybe there's something new to try. Maybe I can enjoy and kick back on a hot summer day like today. While some are ready to have another location to browse for booze, others like State Senator Kim Hammer want to make sure it's done by the book. I think we need to keep the playing field as level as we can for our local independent businesses that are owned by in-state entities. He sent a letter to the Alcohol Beverage Commission director on behalf of several locally owned liquor stores asking them to deny Costco's liquor license application. I think anytime you have a big box retail store coming in that um, has the purchasing power that they do, that it is going to affect your local a small business. This sent the application to the ABC board. Wednesday, they voted unanimously to grant Costco a liquor license. This means they will have a store on property with a separate entrance from the main building that sells strictly spirits. We followed the process and the process has made a determination. For Harrington, she thinks no matter the product, it's a good thing to add another option for shoppers just like herself. I'm all about saving money. That was Claire Kreitz reporting. Several liquor store owners and managers today didn't want to go on camera, but they say they're worried this could impact their business. Costco will open July 21st.